there, beautiful people, and welcome to another edition of Just Trending News. Today, we're speaking yet again everything that's related to Umusa Kaula. Uh, if you don't know who Umusa Kaula is, he is a South African um, blogger, entertainment blogger. He calls himself, as I've said so many times, the Pope of Pop Culture. And he's also an alleged killer, as he is currently undergoing a murder trial slash investigation for um, allegedly murdering his um, ex-lover. While he did admit to stabbing his ex-lover to death but obviously he says it is um it was in self-defense but anyways i've got a video that i've uploaded about that before this video so if you are interested in his murder trial please do go and check out that video today we're speaking specifically in this video about him being sued allegedly being sued for five hundred thousand rands it seems as if we are ending this day on a very positive note as you know he's been trending for most of today for what he said about cairo forbes but it seems as though someone has finally taken Omosa Kaula to court allegedly and he has allegedly won, right? So this is an article that came out and it says celebrity photographer Udumani Kuzwayo has successfully sued controversial blogger Musa Kaula, the 31-year-old Kaula who was rubbed, who has rubbed many the wrong way, excuse me, was ordered to pay 500,000 rands, which he, you know, in my opinion does not have, to do money by Judge Jordan on the 2nd of March in 2023 at the Johannesburg High Court, okay? So this is allegedly what the judge said. He said, having read the documents filed of a record heard evidence and submissions by counsel and having considered the matter the following order is made it is ordered that the respondent pay the sum of 500,000 rand to the applicant's interest on the aforesaid sum of 500,000 rand at the rate of 9.75 percent per annum at tempora mora until date of payment in full the respondent issue apology a public apology and unconditional retraction in writing and published on the respondent's various social media Media platforms in which the respondent published the said utterances. The court ordered that Musa removes all the defamatory utterances or tweets he made and that he make a written undertaking that he will refrain from making any further false defamatory or hurtful statements about or concerning Udumani. So basically, that is, uh, you know, allegedly what Judge Jordan um, said when he ruled against Umosa Kaula and ordered him to pay an amount of 500,000 rand. 500,000 rands is a lot of money with an interest rate of, you know, approximately 10%, 9.73, I believe, per annum, which is like roughly 10%. That's like 50,000 rand per year, you know, <laughs> that is going to go up if he doesn't pay the sum, right? That's enough to put anyone in debt. So this is basically where it started. It says, trouble starts when Musa accused Dumani of being among young boys pimped to old geezers for sex in exchange for money. In the court papers, which we have seen, this is according to the article, Dumani said that the controversial blogger took to his Twitter account, which was way back when his Twitter account was um, still at, active at Musa Kaula on January 28th, and alleged that a Gauteng pimp had booked him to have unprotected Segese, <laughs> I don't know if I can say that word, um, which was attached to the papers read in part. He's going to get, you know, AIDS very quickly because nobody wants to use a rubber ever that's given. Dumani said with those remarks, Kaula implied that he was HIV positive and therefore the allegations which were seen and retweeted by some of Kaula's 183 83,000 followers at the time were defamatory, hurtful, and intended to deliberately humiliate him and undermine his reputation. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it all started because um, Musa Kaula allegedly stated that this man was, you know, being pimped to old geezers somewhere in Houteng and that, you know, he was going to catch AIDS because allegedly, according to him, nobody uses protection these days. And uh, this man took him to court to Dumani. I don't know who he is. Apparently, he is a celebrity, um, you know, photographer, took him to court. And Musa Kaula has been um, allegedly... Um, ordered to pay 500,000 rands, which, you know, according to me, I'm not too sure if he's got that amount of money as of yet. His YouTube uh, career just kicked off. I don't know if he's amassed, uh, you know, the, an amount of 500,000 rands as of yet. But yeah, that was it, ladies and gentlemen. To everyone that was really upset over the comments that Ukairo made, it seems as if Kama is starting to bite him in the behind just a little bit. Tell me what you think in the comment section, my darlings, and I will see you in my next upload. Goodbye, lovely.